Well, the latest deployments from Dias Air Force Base are safely integrated into their new missions. Good evening. I'm Jessica Rankin for Kathleen Barkley. And I'm David Bacon. Thank you for joining us. It was one week ago that family said goodbye to the 317th Airlift Wing headed to East Africa and Afghanistan. KRBC's Kelsey Pittman was at Dias last Monday for the deployment, but due to security and safety precautions, no information could be released until now. And in our top story tonight, she tells us what made this one so special. Watching loved ones fly away is never easy, but being in the military it is part of the job. Senior Airman Jessica Pritchard is one of the around 250 people that deployed to East Africa and Afghanistan on September 9th. And that I was strong enough to do it, that I wasn't scared. Um, just I want her to know that I did it for her and for everyone else in my family. This will be the first time she leaves her family. Uh, I'm missing the major holidays that she can kind of enjoy now, so that does make me a little upset, but... I'm pretty proud to be doing this, so I hope that she'll be proud of me for doing this. Airman First Class John Koch is also deploying for the first time. It's just me today. After only being stationed here for seven months, getting straight to work. I've talked to a lot of people on what to expect, uh, but I'm sure no matter how many answers you're going to get, you're not really going to know until you're there. This is the first time since 2003 that the 317th Airlift Wing has sent out a whole squadron. Everyone knows they'll be home for 12 months before they have to leave again. Under the old construct, it was about every eight months, but depending on scheduling conflicts, you could be going sooner or later. The 39th Airlift Squadron sent out nine aircrafts to be there for four months. And Commander Jeff Manasco says when they get home, it's back to training. We can focus on squadron vitality, resiliency of our airmen, and the magic of deploying a full squadron at once. While the family still has ways to stay in touch. I plan to FaceTime her whenever I get off of work and I pick her up. And then uh, probably like around dinner time, FaceTime again. I'm trying to make it seem like I'm not gone, for her at least. One mission. I don't think enough training can prepare you for the real experience. Two stories. Out of my uniform, I cry like a baby, but in my uniform, I kind of I kind of know what I signed up for, and I'm kind of ready to take my role and do what I got to do. Both focused on getting home safely. At Dias Air Force Base, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.